morning, everybody, or good evening, wherever you are, um, whenever you're watching this. Just gonna wait um, a minute or so uh, just to let people log in to Facebook. Uh, so this video is um, live on Facebook. I'm going to post it to YouTube uh, a little bit later after class uh, because I can't get the live stream to um, to work on YouTube quite yet. Apparently they have to make sure that you're okay for the first 24 hours or so. Um, so live on Facebook this morning. Um, we are going to do a power yoga class about 75 minutes. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we did realize that you can display this up on your smart TV, uh, which is a little scary for me to think you're blasting this up on your big old TV, but, uh, feel free to do that. Um, hey Katie. Um, so anyways, uh, it's 1030, so we're going to get started because I said 1030 and we should start on time. So, um, it is going to be power yoga. Uh, my name is Suzanne. Uh, I live in Florida in the villages, uh, work for MVP, um, down at Brownwood in, uh, like I said, in the villages. So, um, the other day I did a power yoga video that you can see on my Facebook page we started standing up and normally in my classes we don't start standing up and I just realized that I don't really like standing up when we start yoga. So um, have a seat on your mat. Uh, really, you don't need anything but your mat, probably a towel because you're going to sweat a little bit. I always like to sit on a block, um, but that's just a personal preference of mine. So um, sit however you'd like. We're going to spend five or six minutes just settling ourselves and uh, warming up your neck and your spine before we stand up and we start to move. So um, again, welcome. Palms up if your sun is up when you're doing this. Palms down if the sun has set. So eyes shut, just deep breaths. Whatever position's comfortable for your legs, if you need to leave them straight out, if you need to sit on a chair, perfectly fine. And just breathe in through your nose. And out through your nose. Just noticing where your breath goes. Does your inhale breath just stay in your chest? Can you get it to your rib cage? Better yet, can you get it all the way down to your belly? And even better yet, can you fill your whole entire body up with that inhale all the way down to your toes? And then can you let go of all of your breath when you take an exhale? So at this particular point in time, we all have very weird stuff going on in our lives. So let's just try to push away all those outside thoughts and distractions. And for the next 75 minutes or so, just try to concentrate on your breath, on the movements with your breath. And just tip your head over to one side. You can turn your palms down. Bring your head back through center and over to that opposite side. And as you do that side to side, I'd like you to make sure that your spine is nice and long. That when you bring that head up through center, you're reaching up through the crown of your head. And you're just noticing the right side of your neck versus the left. Trying to inhale to center and exhaling as you drop your head. 
Shoulders stay down away from your ears. Elbows relaxed. And then when your head gets over to the right again, so whenever that is, please always take your time today in your movements. When your head gets over to the right, just drop your chin down to your chest, roll your head around to the other side and then back around to center and to the right. So I'm not a real big fan of taking your head all the way around your head. Not a big fan of taking your head all the way around your neck. But I do believe that everybody is different. You are welcome to do whatever feels right for you. Clearly I'm not in your living rooms with you. So please just let your breath be your guide. Your level of intensity should be slight discomfort is the most you should ever go. Chin is gonna be at your chest. Bring your shoulder blades together. Let's interlace your fingers behind you, looking down at your lap. And then bring your palms together in front of you in seated cat, bringing your shoulder blades apart and then open up through your chest arms open to the side looking up and coming back down into seated cat and rising up into seated cow and then just back and forth so to go back to what i was saying you should never ever be in pain but that slight discomfort is perfectly fine you're just going to find that little edge of discomfort and don't ever cross that line. So just warming up your spine, flexing and extending it. When your palms get out in front again, you're going to leave them right there. You're going to inhale and bring your palms all the way up. And then your right arm is going to go down and you're going to lean over to the right. Come back to center and lean right over to the left and then just side to side. So you're just going to feel that rib cage lifting off your waist. You can look up at that arm. You can look down at your hand. You can look forward. Your eyes open or shut. Just now warming up your spine laterally right and left. We're going to end over on your left side. So once you get over there, you're going to come back to center. Both arms are going to go back up. So on an inhale breath, twist at your waist to let your fingers fall down front side, back side. Come back up to center and twist to the other side. So last two ways your spine moves is that twist right and left. And that's what we're doing right now. Just getting some fluid moving through your spine. All right, one more time on each side. I'd like you to finish on your left. So once you twist over to the left, I'd like you to come back to center. Remove that block if you're sitting on it. Put both feet down flat in front of you and just drop your knees side to side. So we're just gonna work those hips a little bit. Just kind of notice how your hips feel here because once we get done with class, this should feel a lot better. Hopefully we'll remember to come back to it. All right, then Let's drop your knees to one side. Bring your upper body forward into a hands and knees pose so that you're on your mat with your hands flat at the top and your knees just a little bit back behind your hips. You're gonna push your hips back into your heels and reach your arms out a little bit more. So you might need to adjust yourself on your mat so that your palms are out in front. And then I just want you to bring your body forward, dropping your thighs 
and relaxing into Cobra and then coming back into child's pose. So you decide what works. Maybe you're just going to come up where your shoulders stay right above your hands and then you push back. Try to think about moving forward on an inhale and pushing back on an exhale. Just building a little bit of heat in your body. All right, and then once you do this, maybe one more time, and when you press back into your child's pose, let's actually tuck your toes and push your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Might feel like you're a little stretched out in down dog. So just walk your feet forward a bit and let's do a little walking the dog. So one heel is gonna go down, the opposite knee is gonna bend and you're just gonna walk your dog, pumping those heels. And then you're gonna look up at those hands Bend your knees and just walk your feet forward and slowly rise up. And then, of course, we always do fix your clothes and fix your hair pose. And then you find your mountain pose. So I'm at a little angle here. You're welcome to be right facing me or to the side, whatever works best for you. Your hands either at your heart at your side with your eyes open or shut. I would recommend always your eyes shut whenever that's possible. Big deep breaths. And then we'll just start through some sun salutations. So we'll just work into them nice and slow. So on your inhale, let's raise your arms up. And on an exhale, just fold forward. So always fold at your hip, rise up halfway, nice flat back, exhale as you fold forward, and then we're just gonna rise all the way back up. And then you're gonna exhale as you bring your hands right back at your side. We're gonna do that two more times, inhale up, Exhale as you fold, softening your knees, folding at your hip. Inhale into a flat back monkey or half forward fold. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale as you rise all the way back up. Exhale as you just reset your hands at your side. And one more time, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale all the way down, inhale all the way up, exhale hands at your side. We pause for a couple of breaths before we add on hands either at your heart or at your side. We're just going to add one pose here. So let's inhale your arms up when you're ready. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale into your half forward fold. And then let's come into full forward fold. And then come up into chair pose. So your upper body comes up. You bend your knees. You push your hips down. And let's just stay here for a couple of breaths while we just talk through this pose. So your knees are in line with your toes, but they're not forward of your toes. So you don't wanna bring them way forward. You want even weight into your feet, your hips back. They don't have to be low. If you just wanna come up a little bit, perfectly fine. If you can go lower, that's also good. Your arms and hands can be here, or you can reach them up over your head. 
You're gonna slowly straighten your legs as you fold all the way forward. And then you're gonna rise all the way back up on an inhale. And then hands at your side. And then we'll see if we can remember that exact sequence. Inhale up. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you rise halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale as you bring your arms up. And exhale as you sink into your chair. Inhale as you rise up a little bit. And exhale as you fold forward. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale your hands at your side. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Nice flat back. Push your hips back. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hips down. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, your hands at your side. One more just like that. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten your legs. And exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands at your side. Then hands either stay at your side or at your heart. We rest for those three breaths. All right, hands at your side again. Now we're going to add on. So inhale up. Exhale as you fold forward. We're going to skip the chair pose. You're going to go into your half monkey, half forward fold or monkey. Exhale into full forward fold. This time you're going to take both feet back one at a time and find plank. So we're going to hang out in plank for just a moment and just discuss it. So you don't want your hips high. You want them low. So if you feel like you need to have your hips high, I'd recommend that you just lower your knees so that you can feel your core engage without those hips high. You should have a nice long line from your head right to your heels. Then either with your knees down or knees up, you shift forward a little and with your elbows rubbing your rib cage, you slowly lower down. You can fall all the way down, point your toes, and then you just push your upper body up. I prefer to always stay in cobra with my thighs down. You can try to lift up and put space underneath your thighs if you'd like in what we call up dog. Should feel nice back bend, but feel free to just leave your thighs on the floor. Breathe. That's going to be an inhale breath. You're going to tuck your toes and on an exhale, push your hips high in downward dog. And in down dog, we're going to stay here for five breaths, always five breaths. So if you need child's pose, you come down into child's pose with your hips back, your arms out. If you need to grab something to drink, you can do that during this time. How about one more breath? And then you look up at your hands and you walk your feet up. You do that half forward fold on your inhale, full forward fold on your exhale, and all the way back up on your inhale, hands at your side on your exhale. So now just on each breath, inhale up, Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. 
Exhale all the way down. Inhale your feet back into plank. Hang out. Bring yourself forward. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale as you do your back bend. Exhale as you tuck your toes and bring your hips nice and high in down dog. Hang out wherever you'd like to be. Big deep breaths. You're gonna bend both knees. You're gonna look up at those hands. You can start to jump or just walk your feet forward again. Half forward fold on your inhale. Full forward fold on your exhale. All the way up on an inhale. Hands down on an exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale both feet back into plank. Find your exhale, inhale as you shift forward, exhale as you lower down. Inhale as you push your upper body up, exhale as you find down dog and breathe. Glance up at those hands, jump or just step your feet forward, inhaling into your half forward fold, exhaling down, inhaling all the way up, hands at your side. All right, two more just like that. Inhale up, exhale as you fold, inhale halfway up, exhale all the way down. Inhale your feet back. Exhale if you can just shift and come on down. Inhale as you push your upper body up. And exhale as you bring your hips up into down dog. So see you got time in down dog for your five breaths or for you to take more time in any of those other poses. Push your chest towards your thighs, bend your knees if you need to, bring your hips high, chin to your chest, bend your knees, look up at your hands, come on forward, half forward fold, full forward fold, all the way back up, hands at your side. One more time, inhale up, exhale fold, Inhale half way up, exhale all the way down. Inhale your legs back into plank. Exhale as you shift forward and lower down. Inhale up dog or cobra with me. Exhale, tuck your toes down dog. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Try to push those heels down into your mat. Bend your knees, look up at your hands, bring your feet forward, inhaling into your half forward fold, exhaling full forward fold. All the way back up on an inhale, hands at your side on an exhale, and then you either stay with your hands at your side or at your heart. Take a couple of breaths, three to five breaths here. Again, make any adjustments you need to with your clothes. Grab something to drink, feel your heart 
beating a little faster. So when we do these power yoga moves with the flowing, you really want to try to calm your heart down with your breath, which is why it's very important to try to inhale when you move up, exhale when you go down, to try to just control the rate of your breathing. But if you're fairly new to power yoga or yoga in general, it's just best to be breathing. So let's add on from Sun Salutation A that we just did. We'll add on to Sun Salutation B, which is going to add just some standing poses. So we start just where we started before. Hands at your side. Let's inhale up. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your legs back into plank. Exhale as you shift forward and lower down. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes and find down dog. Then from down dog, your right foot, you're gonna hike it forward. And let's find lunge actually from here. So all 10 toes pointing forward, front knee bent. We're gonna stay in lunge on this side just to talk about the pose before we start running through it in the next couple sequences. So your hips are down. The left hip is moving forward. So you feel a nice stretch here in your hip flexor and your hands are gonna try to go up, relaxing your shoulders. But if you need to rest your hands right here on your thigh, we're not gonna be here very long because we're flowing through with one breath. But for now, just kind of hang out and get the feel of how this feels. One more breath. And then let's take your hands down. Let's step the front foot back into down dog and bring your left foot forward into lunge on the opposite side. So your other option, instead of coming up into crescent lunge, would be to lower your knee down and just stay into low lunge. So you can be here, here, or even just right here. I'd rather your head and your shoulders be above your hips. I'd rather you not be slumped down and your knee should be over your ankle wherever you decide to be. A couple of breaths so we get the same amount of stretch and strength on this leg before we start running through a little faster. So keep those smiles on your faces. Keep that breath. One more breath. Bring your hands down. We're going to find down dog and you can just stay in down dog if you'd like. Or you can repeat that flow, which means that you would inhale into plank, exhale into chaturanga where you lower down, inhale into your up dog or cobra, and exhale into down dog, and meet everybody there. Just one more breath. Look up at those hands and bring your feet forward however you want. Inhaling, then exhaling, then inhaling all the way up. Hands at your side. So we'll do that three times, a little bit quicker on your breath. So let's inhale up, exhale as you fold, inhale halfway up, exhale all the way down. Inhale your legs back into your plank. Exhale as you shift and lower. Inhale into your up dog or cobra. Exhale into down dog. Inhale your right leg forward and bring yourself up into lunge. Come on down with your next inhale and hike your foot back on an exhale. Inhale yourself up 
with your left foot. Exhale as you sink down into your lunge. Inhale back down with the hands. Exhale into down dog. Stay in down dog or inhale into plank. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you flow into your back bend. Exhale down dog. Can be child's pose here, one more breath. So you miss out on those five resting breaths. If you do that extra flow, look up at your hands and walk your feet forward. Half forward fold, full forward fold, all the way back up. Hands at your side. Two more times. Inhale up, exhale fold. Inhale back up, exhale back down. Inhale plank, exhale forward and lower. Inhale back bend, exhale down dog. Inhale right leg forward, grab it and pull it forward. Exhale as you sink into lunge. Inhale hands down. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, sink into your lunge. Inhale, hands forward. Exhale, down dog. Hang out in down dog with me or inhale into plank. Exhale into chaturanga. Inhale into your up dog. Exhale into down dog. Breathe. Look up at those hands. Jump or step forward. Half forward fold. Full forward fold. And all the way back up. Hands down at your side one more time. And yes, I am wondering whose idea it was to do this three times. Inhale up. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale back up halfway. Exhale down. Inhale feet back into plank. Exhale shift and lower. Inhale up dog or cobra with me. Tuck your toes down dog exhaling. Right foot comes forward. Exhale and sink into your lunge. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale as you sink down. Inhale, hands forward. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Hang out with a big smile on your face knowing that you did it. If you want to do an extra flow here, it's plank, it's up dog, it's down dog. And then from down dog, everybody down into child's pose. So push your hips back, arms out in front, and just breathe. If you want to be on your forearms, if you want to be on your hands and knees, perfectly fine. If you want to wipe up any sweat, perfectly fine. You want to tuck or stack your fists. You want to try to get your hips down into your heels. But if your knees don't bend like that, perfectly fine. You can try to take them a little wider and just do your best. From down dog, your fingers are going to spread wide. Your knees are going to go back in line with your hips. You're going to tuck your toes and you're going to push your hips nice and high into down dog. You're going to walk your feet forward nice and gently and slowly rise up. 
big shoulder roll. All right, so we're gonna do some standing hip openers now, a couple on each side. So this is a good time if you need to stop the class or leave. Um, that was a good section. You can lay back down on the mat and just take a little break and then move on with some other items you have to do today. Or you can hang with me for another, um, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, 30 minutes. So if you're gonna keep joining me, let's take your left leg, step it straight back so that you just have a comfortable distance, maybe slightly uncomfortable. We're gonna do side angle. So you're gonna bend that front knee. If you drew a line from your front heel all the way to your back foot, it should run into the heel or to the arch of your back foot. Bending that knee in the front, turning your hips to the left side of your mat, and then just turning over and your arms up. So lots of movement in the first part of class. And now we're gonna build some strength by just holding poses. I'm just gonna turn this mat this way. While you're holding, stay right in your pose. Push down into your feet, looking up if you can, looking down if you need to, pulling your shoulder blades together, taking that top arm if you want and reaching it over your head. Trying not to crumple down like this. You want your shoulders on top of each other, your hips on top of each other, like you are a piece of toast in a toaster. You do not want to see yourself get burned, front side or back side. Take one more breath. Come all the way back up. Turn your front toes to the middle, your back toes to the back, and then bend those back knees and lean over that back leg. Opposite arm goes up other arm goes down. And again, try to make sure that your shoulders are stacked on top of each other and your hips. So other side, side angle or extended side angle with that arm reaching over your head. You decide what you need today. Weight is evenly distributed between both feet. So really feel that you have weight in your left foot and your right. And breathe. Again, gazing wherever it feels good for your neck. One more breath. Try to use an inhale to rise up. All 10 toes are gonna face the long end of your mat wherever that is. It might be facing me, it might be facing the side, it's perfectly fine. Inhale up and exhale as you just fold forward. So wide leg forward fold. And I don't want you to do anything special except just hang here for a breath or two. Maybe bend your knees, maybe rock side to side. And then slowly just come on up, slowly, slowly, slowly. Big shoulder roll up, back and down. Now these toes, so that would be your right toes to the front, left toes come in. We're gonna do warrior two. So knee over your ankle, hips stay to your left, arms out. And you just glance over that middle Finger. So we're working on hip openers. So squeeze your glutes. Feel a nice squeeze in those lower cheeks and that will open up those hips. Keep your knee driving right over the toes. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Arms straight out. Back arm is straight out, not to the sides. And breathe. Two more breaths. And then the 
straighten that leg. Let's turn these toes in, those toes to the other side, and find warrior two on the other side. So you bend what is now your left knee. You keep your hips open to the right, arms out, and you just turn your head, shoulders right over your hips. Adjust your feet how you need to, and again, that even weight and breathe. Big deep breaths all the way down to your toes. Full complete exhale. Two more breaths. Slowly come back to center. All 10 toes pointing towards a long end of your mat. Inhale up. Exhale as you fold forward again. This time, if you have a block, it can be underneath you. If you don't need it, that's fine. One hand underneath you. Let's choose your right hand. Twist to your left. Left arm up. So just a fan pose for about three breaths. You can look up or down, stretching back through your hips, out through the crown of your head. Take that hand that's up in the air, place it where your other hand is, twist at your waist, and right arm goes up, looking down or up. And again, the twist is at your waist, not at your hips. So maybe you don't twist as much, knowing that you're trying to leave your hips right in place. One more breath. Bring that hand back down. Slowly rise up. Big shoulder roll again, one more standing pose. Your right toes go to the front again. Straight leg now. Your left toes come in a little bit. We have triangle. Arms go out. You're gonna pretend like somebody has your right fingers and they're gonna pull you till you cannot go anymore. So don't twist, just lean over till you can't go anymore. Lay that right hand down on your right leg, left arm straight up. You glance up or down and as you hold this, your right hand might inch down your leg a little bit which is perfectly fine, but I don't want you inching down to the floor and look like this. This is not opening your hips, it's closing them. So it doesn't hurt you to do that, but you're missing the whole point of triangle. It's to get your hips open, to lengthen your torso. So really try to create space on the left side of your body. Just one more breath. Slowly stand up on an inhale. Turn your right toes in, your left toes out. Arms out. Slide left. Left hand down. Right arm up. So make sure that your right toes are facing in. Anything with that foot really that just protects your knee joint. So if anything hurts, just adjust your heel. Soften your knees if you need to. Bend them if you need to slightly. And again, breathe. Looking up or down, squeezing those cheeks. Two more breaths. On an inhale, slowly come up. Let's just bring your feet together. So however you can do that. And then at the top of your mat, wherever that is, you're just gonna inhale up and exhale as you fold forward. We're gonna step back into downward facing dog. So hips nice and high. And then let's just sit down 
on your rear end, right where we started. And I'd like to just test out the knee drop that we did. So your knees are bent, feet down, hands at your side, and just drop your knees side to side. And notice if that feels any different than when we started. It might not, which is perfectly fine. But for me, it feels a little bit easier to drop your knees side to side. All right, you're going to come back to center. Your right leg is gonna bend and your left knee is gonna bend. So you're gonna be as tall as you can and we're just gonna fold forward over this leg. So it's just a modified pigeon. If you are comfortable doing pigeon uh, with this leg straight back, feel free to do that. I'm just not a big fan of that these days. So um, this leg can go straight back if you want it. Please feel free to just keep it bent at 90-90 with me. So just lean forward at your hip, walking your palms forward, squaring your shoulders to the floor, relaxing your feet, feeling a really nice stretch in your hips on that right side. You can stack your fists underneath your forehead, but as you breathe, try not to let those fists or hands get in the way of you moving forward more. See if you can push back into your hips and walk out through those hands, lengthening your spine. Two or three more breaths. And then let's slowly come up to seated position upright and let's do that same thing on the opposite side. So bending your knees 90-90, putting that right leg straight back behind you if you'd like in full pigeon. Inhale up and then exhale as you fold forward. You should notice one side of your body is easier to manage than the other. So for me, this side is a little harder. So no need to judge yourself, right side, left side. You just do your best. And be happy with whatever that is. So as you hold the position, as you breathe, your body will just naturally sink into the position a little deeper. Walk your hands out, push your hips back. Take three or four more deep breaths. Slowly come back up. All right, let's bring the bottoms of your feet together in cobbler's pose. So now we're just kind of calming down from all the standing positions, all the movement, all the strength poses, and just getting in a nice stretch for about 15 minutes. So just nice and tall with your spine, your heels as close to your upper body as you can get them and your chest open, shoulders relaxed, eyes shut, and just breathe. Your hands somewhere on your lower legs. And if you'd like, you can start to come forward a little bit as long as you make sure that you're folding at your hip, that you're not slouching through your shoulders, that you're leading with your heart, you're pushing those elbows into your inner thighs, so that if your eyes were open, you'd be looking at your big toes. Breathe. Nice long spine, really reach up through the crown of your head. And then slowly come up to seated and we're gonna lay down on your mat. 
So if you have a strap or a towel, that would be great. If you don't have either of those, perfectly fine. You can just use your hands. So I'm just gonna angle this mat a little bit differently. So your feet are at the end of your mat, your head is at the top, your knees are bent, and you're just going to drop your knees side to side. So I'm gonna pull this up. And as you're doing that, just kind of notice how you feel, how one side feels versus the other. And my left leading knee is over at the right. Your arms up overhead. Give yourself a big full body stretch. Stretching through your waist, your outer thigh. Dropping your knee on the left down as far as you can. Lengthening through those fingers. Bringing your knees up through center and dropping them to the opposite side. And breathing. Big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Coming back to center, bring your hands at your side, bring your feet as close to your upper body as you can. We're gonna try bridge pose. So palms down at your side. If you don't know what you're doing, please look first because when your hips go up in bridge, it is best to not turn your head right or left. So just take a glance first if you're not sure what you're doing and then come down and do it with us. So palms down, you're gonna take an inhale breath and as you're inhaling, you're going to squeeze your glutes, raise your hips up, and then you're going to slowly on an exhale, bring them right back down. And we're just going to repeat that four or five times, just on your own breath, squeezing to lift and relaxing as you lower down. Doesn't matter how high your hips come. Pressing down into your arms and your shoulders, not on your head. Pressing down as well into your feet. And after you've done it four or five times, you're going to lift your hips up and just hold them there. So you can stay right where you are with your legs and your arms. Or you can start to walk your shoulder blades together. You can interlace your fingers together. You can walk your feet a little closer. You can intensify your bridge pose however you'd like. I'd rather your legs not be out to the side. So bring your knees in line with your hips. And breathe. Your neck and head should have no weight on it. You should be able to kind of shake your head right and left. Let's unlace your fingers, lower your hips, and you should feel like your shoulders are all kind of squished up in the back. So just kind of rock side to side. And then let's bring your knees in and give yourself a little hug. Let's turn your feet around your ankle joints and then opposite direction. And then let's put your left foot down, your right leg up in the air. If you have a strap or towel or tie or belt, you're gonna put it around your foot. Right below your toes on the ball of your foot. If you do not have either, you're just gonna hold right behind your hamstrings or your calf or grab onto your toe. I would recommend you try to straighten your left leg but if bending it seems easier to you, 
please feel free to do that. So we're going to stretch those hamstrings, all those power um, moves, the sun salutations. You're definitely going to feel it in your hamstrings. I had a couple comments after our power class the other day. So definitely stretch the hamstrings with me now and maybe in another hour or two or definitely before you go to bed. Push that right heel up, your right hip down, and breathe. Let's let that leg just drift open to the right. So you're working on a 90 degree angle, but whatever you can do today is perfectly fine. Left arm is gonna go out to the side. Just working on that inner thigh, on that right leg. Just breathe. You can look up, you can look right, you can look left. Eyes shut. And let's bring that leg up through center and let's hold it with the other hand and drop it all the way over to the opposite side. So you're going to feel a nice big stretch of those glutes and outer thigh on that right leg. Feel your IT band getting a nice stretch right at your waist is that twist looking up or to the right. Feel your whole belly rise right below your waist. Make sure that your belly is rising on your inhale. Come on back to center, putting that foot down, extending your left up in the air, strap a towel around your foot. Your leg is straight. Slightly bent is okay, but straighter leg and further away from you is better than a bent knee closer to you. So you want to feel it in your hamstrings, your calf, right leg bent or straight, and big deep breaths. Push that heel up, push your hip down, lengthen the whole back side of your left leg. Take that leg a little deeper. Go ahead and do that. Let's do three more deep breaths. And let's let that leg just drop open to the left. Again, 90 degrees is what you're working on, but whatever you got going on is perfectly fine. If it's less than 90, it's fine. You wanna try to keep both hips as best you can on the floor. There's probably gonna be a little rise in your hips off that mat, but you can try to get keep the hips there and just open the leg or let the leg go down and work on just rolling back onto the mat. As long as you feel it in your inner thigh, 
on that left leg. Perfectly great. One more breath. Then use a breath, bring that leg all the way up through center. Hold on to the strap or towel or leg with your right hand and drop it all the way over. Twisting at your waist. So for me, it's better to have your foot all the way on the floor. Even if you're rolling over to the right, you can just work on getting your arm back to the ground your shoulder back over to the ground. If you're just here instead, you're still getting a nice twist. You decide where you wanna be. Slightly uncomfortable, but never painful. Two more breaths. And let's just let that strap or towel go. Leave it at your side. Bring that left leg back to center. Bring your knees in. Give yourself a big hug. Again, just do something with your feet. Maybe flex and point them. Maybe turn them around the ankle joints. Maybe switch direction. And then let's find happy baby. So knees go out, bottoms of your feet go up to the ceiling. And you're going to push your knees away and down. So maybe holding on to the backs of your hamstrings, especially if you have some low back issues. If you can reach your big toes, you're going to do that. But if you feel any strain in your low back, your hands are right here on your hamstrings. You do what feels right for you. You could be at your inner foot or further yet is your outer foot. But again, you let your low back be your guide. Take three more deep breaths. Bringing those knees back to center, arms out to the side. Drop your knees over to the left, looking up or to the left. And then bring your knees back up to center and over to the right. So looking up or to the right. Coming back to center. Let's make sure that your head is at the top of your mat. So just situate yourself top of the mat. You're going to let your knees fall out to the side. So we did reclined cobbler's pose at the beginning of class, seated. We're now doing it in a reclined position. Bottoms of your feet together, knees away from you. Just slightly rest your hands on your inner thighs, walk your shoulders down away from your ears and feel the connection of your right foot against your left foot. And then if you do have a towel or a blanket or an eye pillow, that you want to rest over your eyes, go ahead and do that. If you want to extend both legs away from you into your final relaxation position, 
Your palms can either be at your side or on your belly. You can be seated if you'd like. Whatever feels good for you, I will make sure that I wake you up in just about five or six minutes. So as quiet and as still as we can be, not letting any of those outside thoughts or distractions come into your head. When they do, just push them aside. Concentrate on your breath. This is when we get stronger, when we rest, when we let our muscles recover from all the work that we've done. Just watch your breath, inhaling and exhaling.
let's start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Just wake yourself back up. Stretch your arms up overhead. Give yourself a big full body stretch. You can rock your knees side to side. And then you can roll over to one side or the other and just gently push yourself up to a seated position. And then for those of you who are still with me from a seated position, let's just keep our hands out at your side and let's inhale up and a big ah as you exhale. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up ah, and one last time. Ah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Have a fabulous rest of today. Hope you're doing something fun, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.